Hello, so in this video, I'm going to show you something very cool about uh, Cisco Modeling Labs. <clears throat> We're going to uh, do a lab with an external connector. So uh, let's go to add. And I'm going to keep this fairly straightforward. We'll do our iOS router right here. Then over here, we see external connector. So let me go ahead and place that right here going to uh, link the two. So I'm going to create a link from here to the external connector. Our external connector only has the one port. And then we we'll use gig zero zero for our router connector. So let me create the link. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here and center this as well. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, go to nodes. And one of the things I oh one of the things I have to do is go to the external connector here. So let me click off this here. Okay, external connector, something very important. I have to go to edit config, and I got to make sure this says bridge. Okay, so make sure that says bridge on external connector. All right, and I think we're good to go here. So I'm going to do the nodes. I'll just start it up like this. Select them both. Click start. Okay. The router is going to take a little time to get going. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording while our virtual router goes ahead and gets booted up. All right. So it looks like we're ready to continue here. My router has booted up. Uh, this external connector is very cool. So it's going to allow us uh, to connect external devices, exactly what it says. My laptop, other devices here, my home network, I can connect directly to uh, this router. And if I had more devices here, make it part of the network. And one of the real powerful things about this is when we want to do uh, network programmability and automation. So we'll be doing that more. I'll do hopefully be doing some videos on that a little later and show you how we can uh, use Cisco CML to uh, use things like Ansible, NetConf, RESTConf, and things like that. All right, but for now, what we want to do is focus on just configuring this router so we can access it remotely. Let me come up here and I've got a terminal window open. I'm going to do ifconfig. Uh, EN0, and let me make this a little so we can see it. Okay. Wow. Look, uh, Rick runs IPv6. Yeah. Love IPv6. All right. Uh, uh, this is my private IPv4 address, uh, and this is one of my IPv6 addresses. So what I'm going to do is actually configure this router here for both IPv4 and IPv6. And I'm going to show you how I can access it remotely uh, using both addresses. OK, so let's go ahead and I'm going to copy in a configuration. Just do it from scratch here. This is Rick typing very quickly. <laughs> All right, so as we can see here, I've got a host name. Uh, okay, it's kind of Things are coming up here. I did my line console zero, logging synchronous. Of course, no IP domain lookup. Uh, that's always a good thing. Uh, so interface gig zero zero, which this interface right here, and we can actually even zoom in more if we want. Let me see that even more. Let me center it a little bit better. There we go. So um, we can uh, see that's gig zero zero. And I've configured both an IPv4 address and an IPv6 address, global unicast. I've also got a link local address I configured on it as well. All right. Uh, so I guess the first thing I'd like to show you is how I can actually access this from my PC. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that's okay. Let's hold it a little bit. Let's see if I can kind of move this over just a little bit. Yeah, that's all right. I'm sure there's an easier way to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and let me ping 
50, the IP address on my router. And there we go. Let me also show you, I can ping the IPv6 address as well. Okay, but see the IPv6 address is right here. So I made it similar to what I have here. Let me do ping six. I will just copy this part, my prefix. And let me, I made that a, what did I make that? I think I made that also a 50. Yes, I did I'd like to be consistent on some of these things. And yes, we can see that I am indeed communicating IPv6 as well. So this is my external, well, my physical computer connected externally to this router. Hey, let's, uh, let's do something else while we're here. Let me go ahead and configure SSH on this device. So let's see, I think I've got everything here. All right, so that looks good. Um, let me add my crypto key here in modulus. I think I've got this right. Okay, let's see, uh, IP domain, username, admin. So this is the uh, username and password I'm gonna use to SSH in. I changed my transport input all. I was, uh, I think I had Telnet on there at one point, but. Uh, make sure this is all or SSH. We're going to do the login local with our username and password. And let me go ahead and generate the crypto key. There we go. All right. So let's take a look. Let's see if I can go ahead now and SSH into this. Oh, all right. Let me go ahead and paste. So here's the command I'm going to be using, SSH. Move that up where you can see it. SSH, admin, and there's all that. There's the IP address. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's because I already did this. Let me do something real quick here. Okay, um, you may be familiar with uh, what just happened. If not, no, no big deal. I actually just had to remove the uh, the host key from my known host file. So let's go ahead, and, which I did. You can kind of see I did that. And uh, uh, so let's go ahead and do this command again. Okay, that looks better. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to say yes here. And you can see it there, it's kind of admin, it's kind of get messed up here, but I'm gonna put in SSH admin, my password, and there I'm in. So admin was my username, was asking me for the password and it showed me some more banner stuff. But here now I've SSH into the router. Enable, oh, I, wow, oh, that's interesting. I should have, uh, hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, interesting. Uh, let's let's do this. All right. Okay, there we go. Class, there we go. Now I'm in in privilege mode. Okay, but anyway, what I wanted to show you was that this is me uh, remotely logged in. I could be at any one of the devices in my network trying to uh, SSH into uh, this router or anywhere in my network, anywhere in my CML network that I would have access. So we'll be doing more of this coming up or I will be doing and hopefully sharing in other videos. But what I want to show you here was just how cool this is uh, to be able to, I uh, just close the connection with exit, to be able to remotely access this device uh, from outside the CML network, from my physical network itself. Very cool. All right. So 
Uh, anyway, hope this helped. I'm glad we actually ran into that little SSH issue. I always like to uh, kind of remind myself what I have to do on that as well. And uh, anyway, there we go. Thanks a lot.